Hi, I'm Mattia, a community advocate at GitLab. I'm going to show you how to set up GitLab pages for your own GitLab instance. This guide assumes you have a working GitLab Omnibus instance set up with a runner or several. And a wildcard A record for a domain pointing to that GitLab instance. I have mine set up just like this. All of the prerequisites are viewable in the Pages Administration documentation article, which I'll link in the description of this video. Now let's look at setting up pages for our instance. We need to edit the gitlab.rv configuration file. Let's SSH into the GitLab instance. Mine's running in a Docker container, and yours doesn't have to, as it doesn't make any difference. I'm running GitLab EE, but you can run CE as well. We need to edit the gitlab.rb configuration file. The pages configuration is included and commented out by default. Let's find it. And let's set it up to use our own domain. I'm using matia-pages.gitlab for our pages and matia-copic.gitlab for my instance. And reconfigure. Once it's done, we can test our pages setup by creating a new project. It can be public, but it doesn't have to be. Let's add a license file. You don't have to though. I'll pick the MIT license. And now, let's add an index file that our project page is going to display, and some basic HTML in it, just for demonstration purposes. Once that's done, we can set up CI to build the pages site for that project. This one's really simple, just copy our project files to the public directory. In pipelines, we'll see our build running. Let's check it out right now. It finished. Let's take a look at what we've built. In project settings, pages, we should see a link to the deployed site and the domain we configured GitLab to serve pages on. It's that simple. If you want to serve pages over HTTPS, just add the additional certificate information in your gitlab.rb configuration file and reconfigure. That was easy. Leave any questions in the comments below or ask us on Twitter. Until next time!